Good morning, good morning, good morning. Lisa here. This is Lisa 6 and 3, and here is God's strength for you and me this day. <clears throat> Allergies. <laughs> Our scripture reading is coming from Mark 7 and um, 13. Mm. Making the word of God of no effect through your tradition which you have handed down and many such things you do. <laughs> Read that again. Making the word of God of no effect through your tradition, which you have handed down and many such things you do. Um, I woke up this morning just thinking about my new process, right? So I'll just share. So um, I turned 60 in November last year. And so when you get a little more mature, things begin to happen. So I'm a fitness trainer. And um, so in, in the fitness world, it's like, okay, you're not supposed to gain weight. You're not supposed to be unfit, blah, blah, blah. Well, as you mature, things do happen. So I gained some weight. And so I reached out to my friend, Charzetta, um, for to like, hey, Chazzy, she's a trainer too. And she too gained weight during menopause. And we began to talk. And so I joined the team and I had to change my whole workout regimen. And I was like, wait a minute, Chazzy, this just don't seem right. Because what we learned as trainers is you know, we could work out anytime and we can lose the weight and we can do whatever we, you know, hey, eat any time of day, work out hard, lose the weight. But it doesn't work that way anymore at this age in our point in our lives. And then I thought about, I was like, she said, trust the process. So I had to change my whole mindset of how I viewed fitness and working out and losing weight and getting healthy. And I thought about this scripture um, what well, Jesus is talking to the Pharisees and saying, you guys are letting the traditions that you know, what you are accustomed to doing, that's what a tradition is. Customs that you've done for years cause you not to grow in what I'm giving you, which is grace. Stop trying to live in what you have always done because there is a better way. And he said, and not only that, he's, and there are many other things that you have handed down through life to your children or to other people, the people that you leave. This is the way we've always done it. Causing yourself to not grow. Mm, mm, mm. And we do that in the church. Ain't nowhere in the Bible tell us we can't <laughs> do a lot of the stuff that we did when we were growing up. Didn't say we could go to movies, go play sports, but... That tradition was passed on from our leaders and so on. So the tradition with working out for me was I could work out whenever I want to and not eat anything I want to, but eat anytime I want to work out and lose the weight. But that doesn't work now. That tradition had to stop first in my mind as he goes further along in the scripture to say, it's not about what you eat that defiles you is what comes out of your heart that defiles you. What you believe to be true in your heart is what messes you up when you speak it. So our strength today is this. Don't let what you've always done cause you to not grow in what could be in the new. There is a new way of doing this thing. So I've learned there is a new way of working out. <laughs> <laughs> for me at this stage and um, I've accepted it and I am I'm trusting the process so you trust us the pro you trust the process of learning something new and doing something new and getting new results mm, mm, mm. that was good you guys go make it a wonderful day I will see you tomorrow morning be blessed